let us discuss a problem on continuous random variable in this they have given the probability density function and we can find out the unknown value k mean and variance the problem is a continuous random variable has the probability density function f of x is equal to set of k x e power minus lambda x for x is greater than or equal to 0 lambda is a positive value determine first unknown value k second one is the mean third one is the variance here the first one to find k by the relation of integral minus infinity to infinity f of x dx is equal to 1 here the function can be defined from 0 to infinity that is nothing but this integral minus infinity to infinity can be split into 3 2 integrals one is minus infinity to 0 f of x dx plus integral 0 to infinity f of x dx is equal to 1 here from the probability density function here for x greater than or equal to 0 means from 0 to infinity the function value is kx e power minus lambda x. In other case it will be 0 that is nothing but the first integral value is 0 plus integral 0 to infinity. We can take the function x is kx e power minus lambda x dx is equal to 1. Here k is a constant right outside k integral 0 to infinity x e power minus lambda x dx here we can take the integral of u v dx is equal to u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 by using of that formula we can expand this that is k into u is the algebraic function v is the exponential function here u means x into exponential integration is e power minus lambda x by minus lambda minus u dash that is x differentiation is 1 and double derivative double integration of e power minus lambda x is e power minus lambda x by minus lambda into minus lambda that is lambda square plus double derivative of x is its 0 so higher derivatives are 0 and we can apply the limits 0 to infinity is equal to 1 here k into integral infinity upper limit is infinity e power minus infinity is 0 e power minus infinity is 0 so it is 0 minus here 0 into something is its 0 minus e power minus 0 by lambda square is equal to 1 here minus into minus plus e power 0 is 1 k by lambda square equal to 1 from this k equal to lambda square it is the where lambda is greater than 0 so x k value is lambda square next to find out the mean the mean formula is mean is equal to expectation that is e of x or mu is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x f of x dx it is equal to integral minus infinity to 0 x f of x dx plus integral 0 to infinity x f of x dx here first integral it is 0 from the probability density function the second value is integral 0 to infinity x into f of x is k x e power minus lambda x dx. k is a constant right outside from the above case k value is minus lambda square integral 0 to infinity x square e power minus lambda x dx and again by using of the integral here taking the integration the lambda square into x square is the u integral of e power minus lambda x is e power minus lambda x by minus lambda minus 
x square integration is 2x and e power minus lambda its derivative that is e power minus lambda x by minus into minus plus lambda square plus 2 into x derivative is 1 e power minus lambda x by lambda q into minus lambda that is lambda square into minus lambda that is minus lambda q and in the next derivative will be 0 so 0 into something is 0 the limits are 0 to infinity it is equal to lambda square into we know that e power minus lambda infinity is equal to 0 and 0 into something is 0 so the upper limit values the three terms will become 0 why because each and every term having the e power minus lambda x e power minus lambda into infinity is e power minus infinity so it will be 0 minus this is 0 minus 0 minus 2 into e power minus 0 by lambda q it is equal to lambda square into minus into minus plus 2 by lambda q lambda square lambda square cancel this is 2 by lambda so mu is equal to 2 by lambda next we can take the variance the third that is the third one the variance formula is variance of x is equal to v of x it can be defined as exponential of x x square that is expectation of x square minus mu square it is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x square f of x dx minus mu square it is equal to minus infinity to 0 is 0 that is minus infinity to 0 x square f of x dx plus integral 0 to infinity x square f of x dx minus mu square it is equal to in this limit the function value is 0 in the second limit that is integral 0 to infinity x square into k into e power minus x e power minus lambda x dx minus mu square means 2 by lambda whole square here k is a constant right outside we know the value of k is lambda square integral 0 to infinity x square into x is x cube e power minus lambda x dx minus 2 by lambda whole square this is equal to lambda square into x cube that is u integral of e power minus lambda x is e power minus lambda x by minus lambda minus x cube derivative is 3x square its again integration is e power minus lambda x minus into minus plus lambda square plus 3 to the 6x e power minus lambda x by minus lambda q minus 6 into e power minus lambda x by lambda power 4 limits from 0 to infinity minus 2 to the 4 lambda into lambda by lambda square it is equal to lambda square into the upper limit all values having the e power minus infinity so it will be 0 minus 0 into something is 0 0 into something is 0 0 into something is 0 minus 6 into e power 0 is 1 by lambda power 4 minus 4 by lambda square it is equal to lambda square into minus into minus plus 6 by lambda square minus 4 by lambda square sorry here lambda power 4 lambda square lambda square cancel this is equal to 6 by lambda square minus 4 by lambda square is equal to 2 by lambda square therefore variance of x equal to 2 by lambda square from the problem we can get the values after the simplification k is equal to lambda square mu equal to 2 by lambda square variance is also 2 by lambda square here mu is 2 by lambda only not lambda square it's 2 by lambda okay. 
this is the solution.